Nipsters, welcome to Road to Fantasy Football Legacy. This is episode number 12, week 11 review, week 12 projections. It wasn't such a great week, but let's see if I won or lost. Um, I took on Jeremy, and this is the results of that. I couldn't believe it. Um, I actually lost to Jeremy, um, so that still means I haven't picked up a win against the conference NFC. In the, so I'm 0-5 against the NFC. Um, I lost 955.5 to 73.5. It was really heartbreaking. Um, I really thought I had it, but there's a big reason why I lost, and you'll see it here in just a second. So here is here's the scorecard for week 11. This is why I lost. You can obviously see why I lost. Um, RG3 had 21.5 points. I actually didn't think RG3 was going to do anything, but in the fourth quarter, he threw two touchdowns. He went from only five points all the way up to 21.5. Adrian Peterson, only six points. Giovanni Renard, five points. And Danny Wood hit two points. Those are my running backs I had in, and they're the only people offensively who gave me points besides Halshka, who got me 13 points by kicker. Um, AJ Green, Percy Harvin, and uh, Jordan Reed, both, all three of them got me absolutely no points, which was pretty shitty. I was mad. Um, I knew as soon as I seen that, I was like, really? So I knew this week was going to be messed up for me. But the Bengals D, positive out of this, got me 26 points. They ended up getting me defensive team of the week, because that's my third one, third with the Bengals. And hopefully the rest of the year they get me something else too, but this week they're on a bye, so... That's how I lost right there. Wide receivers couldn't catch and the running backs couldn't run. Here are the standings after week 11. In the AFC, my division, Ryan's now 7-4. and four. Um, Me and Alyssa both lost. We're both 4-7, and seven, but I have more fantasy points, so I'm ahead of her. Um, like I said, 4-7, and 4-7, seven, and, seven, and Bowen lost. Uh, he's 2-9. and nine. In the NFC, Dylan's 9-2. and two. He ended up beating Alyssa. Trey is seven and four, Jeremy six and five, and Mioning is five and six. All right, so uh, like I said, Jeremy beat me, and this is why he won. Chris Johnson got him twenty points. Colby Fleener nine points. Drew Brees twenty three point five points, and Calvin Johnson Jr. twenty four points. Um, let's see here. Alyssa ended up losing to Dylan. Barely. Um, Nick Foles got her 22 points. Um, Andre Brown, I think that's his name, the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, got her 22 points. And Ray Rice got her 22 points. But that's great for Ray Rice to actually start picking it up. Um, Antonio Gates also picked it up 8 points. Prater 10 points. And she had Fitzgerald on the bench with 10 points. And Gordon, Josh Gordon, on the bench with 16 points. And Dylan, like I said, beat Alyssa. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, 23 points. Uh, Vincent Jackson, 19 points. Charles Clay, 11 points. Uh, Andre Johnson, 11 points. And Peyton Manning, 20 points. That's rare. He's normally in the 40s or 30s. <coughs> All right. So, uh, Ryan ended up beating Meoning. Uh, Stafford, 20 points. For Ryan, Matt Forte, 17 points. Um, Douglas, uh, 16 points. And on the bench, uh, Ryan had uh, Rashad Jennings get 24 points, and Garrett Graham, the Texans tied in, besides Owen Daniels, got him 14 points. So let's look at Mioning. Mioning lost, and uh, he had T.Y. Hilton give him 3, Colts D, 4, Jimmy Graham 3. Uh, he had Bryant on a bye week, and he also had um, an open spot for some reason. Uh, he only had one starting running back play. Um, Smith, Torrey Smith got 9, and Cam Newton got 34.5. And Bolin lost to Trey. Uh, Bolin had Matt Ryan get 16 points, uh, Alfred Morris 9 points, Doug Morton 0 points, and uh, Winton and Rams were on a bye week, and he had him in. And Roethlisberger on the bench for him had 44.5 points. Uh, Trey had Russell Wilson get 25 points, and McCoy 21 points, and uh, Deshaun Jackson. Uh, nine points. Yeah, that's not his name's not Deshaun Thomas. I don't know why I said Jackson. I don't know why I said Deshaun. Um, yeah, Thomas got nine points. 
All right, so there's four teams on the bye this week. You got the Bills, uh, the Bengals, the Eagles, and the Seahawks. That's a lot of teams with good players on it, so a lot of people are going to have to be changing up their lineup. Um, so there you go. Bills, Bengals, Seahawks, Eagles, if you have any of those players, or think about picking up a player from that team. Don't do it this week. Do it next week. All right, so the transactions that happened this week. This is before Thursday Night Football. This added Andre Brown, drop and Jarvis Ellis. Ryan added Rashard Jennings and Gold, dropped uh, Willis McGahee and Carpenter. Ryan also added Ingram and dropped Pryor. And then after Thursday Night Football, before the waivers, before Sunday pretty much, I added Danny Woodhead and dropped uh, Keenan Allen. Alyssa added uh, Tolbert and dropped <clears throat> Wilson and let's see here for the waivers this week as of right now I'm sure there's gonna be more um, Dylan added San Antonio Holmes I'm not sure how to say the name but here we go Ogbananya and dropped Vinatieri Hartline uh, Steve Smith uh, and Cardinals D and special team uh, I added uh, Jer Jeremy Cotry and the Saints D and uh, David Akers and dropped Ryan Matthews, Danny Woodhead, and the Bengals D. Ryan added uh, Bobby Rainey and dropped uh, Tompkins. Jeremy added the Ravens D and dropped the Patriots D. And Alyssa added uh, Case Keenum and dropped Tolbert. Those are transactions for this week. If any more happen today, I'll put them on to next week's episode. Here are the week 12 projections. I'm projected to beat Trey. That's who I'm playing. 97 to 78. He also hasn't doesn't have LaShawn McCoyan or Russell Wilson. And here's the projections from my team. RG3, 19.5. Adrian Peterson, 14. Stacy, Zach Stacy, uh, 20 points. Uh, Jordy Nelson, 12. Kotri, 7. Olsen, 1. Uh, Ivory, 7. Saints, 4. And Akers, 12. Uh, I think I have a pretty good week this week. Um, <clears throat> a lot of my teams don't have a a bye week like Bernard, Spiller, Hauschka, Dalton, Harvin, and Green. But I think I filled in with Kotri and uh, um, Akers and the Saints this week. So I think it's 97 to 78, but remember he doesn't have um, Russell Wilson in. He has a bye week, and so does uh, LaShawn McCoy, so I'm expecting him to put someone else in. Hoping for a good week. It's your boy Crispy Nips, and stay crispy.